Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to test out four different mini shotgun microphones to find out which is going to be the best microphone for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. We are going to test out the Rode Video Micro. We have the Movu VR10 Pro. I believe that's what it is, VXR10 Pro. We also have the Lens Go. I believe this is the DMM1. And then we have the Andy Cine, uh ACM1. All of them are little mini shotgun microphones, little condenser microphones. So we're gonna hook them all up to the GoPro Hero 9 with the uh, Media Mod. We're gonna test them out and let's go check it out. All right, before we get started with any of the microphones, I wanted you just to hear a quick sample of what this sounds like with the GoPro uh, Media Mod microphone. So right now I'm filming with the front-facing microphone. It has a little wind puff on there. It's just a foam wind puff. It's a little windy out here, so you might hear some wind noise. Now, all of the microphones that I'm gonna test have uh, windshields on there of some sort. Three of them have uh, dead cats on there. One of them just has a, a sort of oversized foam wind puff, so we'll see how that does in comparison. I do have reviews for all of these microphones on my channel, so if you're interested in any of them, you can check them out. So um, let's go ahead and let's grab the first one here. And the first one we're going to do is the Rode Video Micro because that is probably one of the most popular ones. So let's go ahead and start with this one and uh, try it out. Okay, so I have the Rode Video Micro hooked up and this is what you are hearing right now. So uh, yeah, I'm curious to know what this sounds like to you and uh, what you think about it. So this is with it uh, just a basically, I'm using the GoPro uh, whatever, I forgot what selfie stick is. I think it's the Grande or something like that, but it's at its shortest length. If I, uh, if I stretch it out some there, this is what it sounds like if I'm a little bit further away from the microphone here. So yeah anyways this is the uh this is the gopro hero 9 black with the rode video micro plugged into it let's go ahead and switch it out i'm gonna go ahead and switch this one to the uh i'm gonna switch this to the movo vxr 10 pro and see how this one sounds all right so i'm recording now with the movo and one problem i can see with the movo is already is that the microphone is showing in the frame here and because the shock mount does not actually have those little indentations to hold the cord and to pull it up a little bit like the uh, road does you can't get it out of frame so right now i'm just simply holding the cable to get it out of frame so that is a problem in itself right there it uh yeah that's just not going to work no one wants to see a microphone in frame while you're filming now there's ways you can jimmy rig that you could tape it up or do whatever you want but why do that when you have uh when you can just have a better cleaner solution now i probably would see about using maybe the rode shock mount with this microphone since i have them both because i actually think i like the sound of this mic better than i do the road but let's see what the other ones sound like too so let's move on next to the andy cine all right so with the andy cine we are running into the same problem here where the uh the, the microphone wind puff is in the way because there is no little uh indentations on the shock mount to move it out of the way so i'm actually having to grab it and hold it so that i can uh have it out of the frame there so this one not going to work either which is really unfortunate because this one is uh from what i can understand from what i remember from my full review it's a pretty nice uh, sounding microphone at a really budget price. So um, yeah, but it's not gonna work it looks like so um, because if I let go of that cable, then boom, just like that, it's right in the uh, frame. But what you're hearing right now is the Andy Cine. I believe it's the DMM1 uh, mini shotgun mic. It's a little condenser microphone. Okay, so now this one is the LensGo microphone. This is the little LensGo uh, ACM1, I believe it is. And uh, yeah, this one does not have a, a big furry dead cat on there. This one just has sort of like an oversized uh, wind puff, foam wind puff on there. So you can get an idea of what this sounds like. But one thing you can see is that it is not in frame. So it is definitely not uh it's definitely not showing the microphone in frame even though you don't you don't have that little cable clamp there to hold the microphone back a little bit 
it doesn't seem to really need that so um yeah anyways let's go ahead and just uh, extend this out a little bit since this one is a possibility since we don't have that issue with the microphone in frame let's see what this sounds like and this is what the microphone extended out a bit so anyways this is the lens go microphone i'm curious to know what you think about it how it sounds to you and if this is something that uh that you think might work and how you think this one sounds in comparison to the others so yeah anyways this is just a quick microphone test of four different shotgun mics so you can get an idea of what each one sounds like while you're walking and talking and vlogging so you can hear what it sounds like how it sounds with uh, rejection of noise off to the side you can also get an idea of uh, how these microphones sound with their shock mounts if they're bouncing or making any noise or anything like that so yeah there you have it all right everyone so there we have it that is a look at four different mini shotgun mics condenser microphones used with the gopro hero black 9 and yeah, the, uh, the Hero Black 9, uh, the microphones that are built inside of the Media Mod sound okay. Now, we also got to hear the Rode Video Micro. Now, this one seems to work well, the best as far as keeping the microphone out of the frame because it actually has those little microphone uh, cable clamps built into the twist lock so that you don't have your microphone in frame, which is nice. Next, we had the Movo VXR10 Pro, which is a nice sounding microphone, but unfortunately it hangs down low and so it gets in the frame. This works really well with regular mirrorless cameras and uh, DSLRs, but because when you're using this with an action camera, it is so low or so close to the lens that it actually hangs down. You can see it in frame. So I'm gonna have to see maybe if I can fit the Rhodes um, microphone shock mount onto this and then maybe that'll work for it because I actually like the way this one sounds. Now, the next one we had, the, uh, we had the Lens Go, I believe this is the DMM1. This one actually worked quite well because this one here um, doesn't have a dead cat. It just has a big foam uh, foam wind puff here. And so this one does not hang down into frame. So yeah, this one here, I think will work pretty nicely. Um, the last one here, which is the, the Andy Cine here, this one did the same thing. It, it, it got into the frame. And so this is unfortunate because I really would like to be able to use some of these other microphones, but because of the way they designed their, uh, their shock mounts, there is no cable clamp on there to actually clamp it pull it back a little bit. Now you could do something, I'm sure, like you can tape something up or jimmy rig it somehow or just hold it. But I mean, what's the point of that? You really want something that's designed well for the cameras that you're shooting with. But I'm still curious to know which one you thought sounded the best. Um, yeah, let me know. I'm curious, so leave me a uh, leave me a comment down in the comment section. And really it's designed, this video is really designed for you, so if you're looking at buying a GoPro or a Media Mod or any of these microphones to go with your GoPro and your Media Mods, you have an idea of what to expect with each of these microphones. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave links to everything down below, each microphone and the GoPro and the Media Mod and all that stuff. I've actually reviewed all these microphones, so if you wanna check out the full review, please feel free to uh, check my channel out. Just search my channel, you'll find it there. But I'll leave links to everything down below, so if you're interested in checking them out and get more info or purchasing them, you can do so. Also, I'm gonna leave links to my media, uh, to my uh, social media contacts and my Amazon page so you can see all the products I reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.